Welcome back to Oliver's Mount. We're here for the cock of the north. <laughs> and see who we can interview. <laughs> I'm 30 and I'm from Barnsley, as you can, as you can probably tell. <laughs> and I'm from Barnsley. <laughs> Lovely. So, what class are you racing in today? I'm racing in RST 600 class. I'm going out in Group A. How's your morning gone so far? Uh, it's gone all right. Uh, I've just had engine refreshed on it, so I've been running it in all morning. Uh, so, this is a bit first flying laps I do on it. So, just changed the uh, dry dry rear, so hopefully the track's dry enough to take it. Oh, you're going dry? We're dry now. Oh, okay, okay. Um, what are your expectations for the weekend? Um, I want a better of the last round. I want to get my lap times down. Um, I'd like to get in with prize money and hopefully get a podium in a um, feature race. So we'll see. On the podium. Yeah, Planning for a podium. For a podium. <laughs> Was a bit of um, a last minute coming to Oliver's Mount then this year, wasn't it? Yeah, I only got the bike. I was having a year out. Um, last time I raced was um, Senior TT 2022, um, and then I didn't race. And then just got like, went to watch the TT and thought, watch everyone ride around in the sun. I'm like, no, oh, I'm not having this. So bought the bike straight to Alton Park last week and then straight here. So we're still. So is that the only practice you've had then, Alton Park? Yeah. So bought the bike. Got to, I think I bought the bike Wednesday, straight to Alton on the Saturday, and then straight here. And how have you found the bike so far? It's mint, it's just me. Need to learn how to open throttle a bit more. So yeah. that's the only problem. So it's just practice makes perfect then? Yeah, exactly. There's no point trying to go for it on the first day. I might as well make a weekend out of it. Ransom with us, sidecar, father and son. That's it, yeah. yeah. Together for a while now. Yeah. How long? Yeah. Nine years. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's enjoying it. Yeah, no, it's yeah, it's best to do it with your son. It's, it's. I brought my own passenger up, haven't I? So. Aww. When did you start? 19, I think I'm not. Yeah, 19 when I started. Yeah, and how old are you now? Uh, 29. 29, yeah. yeah. So how's the morning gone for the cock of the night? Yeah, as well to expected, really. We, we just we just could do with some tyres on it, really, but we're saving up for Southern, so... Oh, right, OK. And looking forward to the Southern, when's that? We'll be going next weekend. Next weekend? Okay. It's, it's the week after. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Roddy, would you like to introduce yourself and where you're from? Hi, my name's Roddy Taylor. Uh, originally from Scotland, as you could probably already tell by the accent. Uh, hopefully you won't need subtitles. You guys have been listening to Taggart for years, so you should manage without a problem. Um, now living in Sunny Fleet down in Hampshire, working for Rob Collard, the uh, uh, British touring car legend, trying to keep him and his boys right, which is a big task at the best of times. Um, and doing a little bit of bike racing in between times. So busy, busy July for me. I've got... Um, Oh, Cock of the North this weekend, then straight off to uh, Southern 100, Isle of Man next weekend. Uh, come back, then it's the Barry Sheen meeting here for a classic. Not quite sure what I'm riding for that yet. Uh, rumour control has it that there might be a 600 on the cards or something else, but uh, wait, on, wait on see you on that one. And then uh, as soon as I've done that, it's then off to Armoy. Armoy? So. Armoy, Ireland, uh, yeah, Ireland. It, it, I think if you look at uh, the Irish road race scene, Northwest 200, Cookstown, Armoy is some of the bigger Irish road races. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. So perfect. So what are you doing here today at the Cock of the North? Cock of the North. Um, I have got a job, and I'm supposed to be the responsible adult, taking uh, uh, newcomers out on sight and laps and showing them where to go in the circuit. So imparting them with a little bit of my years of experience so so how did this morning go it went quite well i didn't lose any of them which is always <laughs> good um I, I think they all came back in and they were sort of very wide-eyed looking and thought oh it's a lot narrower than we expected uh they've all walked it they've all cycled it or run it or done something with it but as soon as you put a bit of speed into it it all gets very narrow and the the, the, the dawning of realization comes <laughs> This morning with the trees, uh, but it's probably what you expect at Scarborough. It's normal. To be honest, if it wasn't damp and greasy in the trees, we'd ask a question. Uh, but no, it's looking like it's going to be nice the rest of the weekend now. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting back out on the bike for qualifying and doing getting a few more laps under his belt. Have you got any um, of your favourite memories from Oliver's Mount over the years? Uh, I've, I was saying that to the lads earlier. I haven't been for two years, uh, and this is my first ever road race. So I've got a lot of good memories around here, a lot of good races and things like that. So no, I'm. Uh, 
He put a smile on my face early on, so let's have another ride around the place, so I'm looking forward to the rest of the day. <laughs> this year is the sidecar passenger taxi ride so essentially you're paying £10 for a hot lap with Oliver's Mounts you need an ACU license though um, hot lap of the track have a look on Oliver's Mount website for all the details to book on let's see what the passengers have to say Conrad Harrison, who was a TT winner, so yeah. I, that's a tick. Yeah, yeah. Who did you go out with? Uh, Bruce Moore. How did you find it? Yeah, amazing. I actually passenger an F2 anyway, but I haven't done roads and not at that speed. Right. And he, he gave me a good time as well, stopping and starting yeah, to yeah, yeah. make sure I hang on, which was, yeah, yeah. awesome. It's an awesome you, circuit as well. It's really good. Like, you knew what you was doing, to be honest. <laughs> now I'm flailing around on the back, you know. But... Oh, well, you all. How, yeah, so you've all completed your taxi laps. Excellent. How did it go? Oh, it's absolutely mega. I would definitely passenger one of them at TT. That is just awesome. I'd be scared, yeah. but that is awesome. He's, I tell you what, what was intimidating was all the stones hitting the bottom as well. And the leaves. Yeah. Just and the leaves, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Things, hit, things hit the bottom of sidecars that like you'd never notice on a solo bike. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. I, th I thought. Oh, something's fell off. No, I don't know if we should say this, but it nearly tips a few times. I'm like, this is ace. It's yeah, like, it's it's like, it's say, it's yeah, exactly like when you're sailing and you're hanging off the end of a sail, though. Exactly. It's yeah. exactly the same. And that was awesome. So what was the knack? What was the knack to keeping it? Because you you did quite well. I think the main thing is always having a grip on your left hand, no yeah. matter what's happening. Because if you're braking harder or accelerating, your whole body ends up moving. Yeah. Hard to hold on with your legs. So if your left hand's not holding on, yeah. you're not staying on. <laughs> So was you in complete control of the steering then? Oh, or? no. no, no you left zero control of anything. Really? You were literally there for the ride. Oh, OK. This lady did really well. Me and Ollie were just flailing around on the back more, of the side. More count balance. <laughs> so you go around a corner and you want to be count, doing count balance and that is it's what, not yeah. Over, yeah, it's not flipping over, yeah. yeah. So we got, no, apart from that yo-yo, there's a bit of ballast. The, the right-handers were all right because I could stand yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you just yeah. press Moving against, uh, but then trying to flip your ankle over. Yeah, because we've got solo boots on, uh, me and Ollie have got our solo kit on. That's mm. quite solid. We're not built for that manoeuvre. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you've done it. You, you, Day you have soft boots. boots. Yeah, that yeah. Made and I could see you real manipulatively moving your body on it, and that. I thought I'll have some of that. It's <laughs> because <laughs> I know you. Do you know, know what I mean? I thought no, she's not beating me around here. <laughs> <laughs> Would you recommend someone doing it? Everyone should give it a go. I think. Honestly, uh, I know it was for charity as well, but yeah. I, I'd have paid more money to do that. To I know, it was only £10, yeah, value yeah. for money. Absolutely. Really, really good. I'd have given 20 quid for that all day long. Yeah. 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 You would though, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. 20 quid. Well, that's it. If you've got an ACU licence, you can do this as well. Go. Give us a thumbs up, guys. <laughs>